Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a map change video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys all of the relatively new map changes in today's update. A lot of them are Christmas changes all over the map, but let's first get into it with a classic one. And we're going to be coming in with the Crack Shot Cabin. So for those that are a fan of the Crack Shot Cabin, or fans of, should I say, this is the actual original one with a little bit more decorations. We've got kind of a nice little green planty thing. I always forget the name of that Christmas decoration. It's like the only one I can't remember, but... A lot of the stuff around here is all Christmassy. We've got a lot of candy canes, a lot of Christmas lights, some reused props from previous years, but this one's a new one. And we go inside of here, and sadly, it is the same cabin as always. There isn't really any changes to the cabin. It's a little bit more modern than it used to be, I guess, in the original chapters with some different props there and then. But it's the same structure, and that's where it's located. It's just located outside the frozen lake over here. So it's kind of a nice little POI. Anyway, that's the first one I wanted to show you guys. Now we're going to head over to some more of the smaller Easter eggs and some more of the Christmas map changes as we do go through. I want to show you guys this one, which is a little Easter egg which I found, which I thought was definitely worth showing because it's one of my favourite ones actually in a very, very long time. So this is actually going to be in this house over here. And if you come over to this house here, I've actually broken down some of it here. It's this one so you guys can see where it is. There's actually a Kevin the Cube reference here on this table here by this bed. And this is the only thing I found on the map that gives us the Kevin the Cube reference. But there it is, Kevin the Cube. I didn't expect it to be in the map. It's actually uh, Blevin, the blue one. So pretty awesome stuff there with the uh, blue cube there inside of the map so i kind of like that i think you guys would like that as well if you are looking for that also christmas decoration wise there are a variety of different christmas trees all over the map with different decorations around them you'll find them all over in different places throughout the whole world of fortnite so keep an eye out for them you will spot them as you do explore also that's the same with bushes they've also got the christmas lights on which can be kind of annoying when you're inside them and playing but i guess they'll be gone soon so nothing too much to worry about them I know the bushes are quite important this season with obviously the healing abilities. And it looks like the football pitch over here has been taken over by Christmas trees. This is inside of Slappy as well. This is now a Christmas tree farm where you can come over and pick up your trees if you'd like to. I don't know what Neymar's doing over here. This is where the Neymar NPC spawns. So he's definitely turned into someone that sells Christmas trees now. Seems pretty typical that. Uh, <laughs> so random to be honest. Not typical at all, but very random. Neymar's now selling Christmas trees. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So over, over here that's where you'll find all of these christmas trees located just outside of here so that's pretty cool and i do like that i think it's a neat neat little match and you can see one actually for delivery here or going out for delivery so that's a nice little change for you guys anyone interested in coming to check out the christmas tree farm that's what's happening there inside of slappy anyway let's move over to what our next little map change which i think you guys will like as well which is another christmas one and we're going to be heading all the way over to the farms on this side of the map okay so this map change took me a while to find it's actually hidden under this giant tree that's why i couldn't see and it's another christmas tree sale location and this one is inside of one of the new farms and you can see inside of here this actually has two stores which are now selling christmas trees over here so it's definitely not neymar selling them this time it's just some random geezer which isn't actually here but yeah it's pretty cool i guess sunflower might be selling these because it's her location this is where you'll find these over here these christmas trees and obviously these are all the trees here that they've been growing and these will be being sent out to different loopers and islanders on the fortnite island so pretty cool little one there and we've got another one coming in but why we fly over there i just want to give you guys a little preview of what's happened in creative because you can now get the dirt bikes in there and a few other weapons so check this out here on my map so inside of creative today we're going to be popping into toy box and you can see inside of here we do have some new items if we go over to the left side of toy box that i've added in the new creative items you can get the slap juice in here i'm not going to take it in this gameplay it's over there on my right but also i want to show you guys a new little ar feature as well which is in creative as well this is the tactical ar you can zoom in obviously we've got the new rifle as well which is everything which fires swords which is pretty cool the caliber rifle and obviously a few other stuff as well so let me show you guys what we've got in this here's the uh, ar which is pretty cool you can practice with it in here it's pretty powerful i really do like it with the new scope on it which is kind of neat and obviously we've got the uh ageless's champions x caliber rifle which is the mythic variant which is pretty awesome and we've also got dirt bikes now in creative so if you head over to this side i've got a few different spawns and they spawn over here and in the car one to my left so there's four dirt bikes that now spawn in there and you can grab yourself a dirt bike inside the toy box drive it around and have a little bit of fun eliminate a few players in it and just go crazy so yeah enjoy guys head into toy box try it out and see what you think and the new stuff i will be adding it to my other maps as well toy box is just the priority because that is the most popular one out of the bunch 
But also this update, we've got the Winterfest Lodge with presents inside of. So you can head inside of the lodge and you'll find a bunch of stuff. But there's a few Easter eggs in here, which I just want to point out to you guys here. First off, you can press the control on the chair to direct this little bike around. You can collect the pizza for 10,000 XP and you'll find these throughout different Winterfest days to complete a challenge. Also inside of here, there's a little campfire or a little fireplace, should I say, you can go over to. And you'll get a little bit of XP inside of here. I'm low on it because I've been watching it for a while. But when you first go on here, you'll get a little bit more. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back there. Okay, let's go back inside. Side. Obviously inside of here you got the little light as well above the fireplace which you can press on to try and turn on It's pretty cool and if you keep pressing it eventually you will get it to turn on which is kind of nice So you can kind of get that light to turn on I guess if you want it on Also over on this side you've got all your presents But if you go over to the fridge on this left side you'll actually find some easter eggs inside of here You'll find a frozen peely plushie You'll also find a hot dog, some chilli sauce, some fish and a bunch of shields Which is very random and some ammo at the top as well Some uh, heavy ammo and some light ammo it looks like So yeah kind of neat if you want to just check out that fridge very random but yeah it's a weird one yeah weird fridge i guess weird spot kind of a cool one. if you notice any other easter eggs i do miss though let me know in the comments down below as always and over on the right side as well we do have our two christmas skins there and obviously go on the floor you can also play this jingle bell sound by hitting that little thing on the right which is pretty cool and other than that i haven't really found any extra easter eggs inside of it sometimes you can go a little bit further to the right but i've not actually found any ways of exploring the lodge any extra ways yet so if any of you guys do have any external easter eggs or something that you guys have found let me know let me know Okay, so jumping back in to the map changes, the next map change I've got for you guys is a really exciting one. And this is actually storyline related. And this is going to be coming in on this far side over here, past the main citadel. And it's going to be going into the far side of the citadel. They've actually got like a little tower being constructed over here. You've got this little railway going up and down where they're sending up materials. And these materials are being used to construct something really unique. And you'll find that up here, if you climb to the very top of the tower, you'll actually find these kind of rift type structures or some sort of elemental thing and you can see from the plans on the table that this thing is being constructed and i believe this is going to be some sort of rift type structure to teleport to different realms now we don't know 100 percent what this is going to be but we do hear reference to it in the story looking for that rift warden type person and what's this going to be is this going to be where jeno comes in and out of the world or someone comes in and out to alter what's going on in this current reality to keep the loop stable or is this going to be all storyline related from the past and we're going to learn a lot of stuff i don't know it's kind of confusing where we are in the fortnite storyline as always the fortnite storyline is very confusing doesn't really make too much sense if you look into it too far there are core elements of it that you can take and pick and think ah that makes sense kind of and suddenly it goes oh no 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 it's not going to make sense anymore uh, but <laughs> i don't no, I, I do like the Fortnite storyline, but then there's parts of it I just think, wow, it's so messy, please fix it. But sadly, that's not going to happen. But hey, you can see obviously the structure here has been signed off by a few different people and looks quite exciting. So I am looking forward to see what's going to happen at this section in the map. Obviously, this will be constructed throughout the week, and we finally got kind of a map change storyline going on, which is new, not the same old stuff, not the henchmen, not the same old shack being built, not the same old stuff just being redone over and over we've actually got something new to keep our eye on so we will be keeping watch on the rift construction so we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens with that but yeah it's gonna be pretty awesome so i'm kind of happy about finally getting a new map change which is relevant to the story which i think you know is a good thing to say i guess you know you don't really get that sort of stuff also the battle bus has been changed you can see a little screenshot of that on screen here and you can also get some rifts appearing which are christmas related which will actually give you access to presents and possibly even you can meet the candy cane so you can obviously do that and get them rifts and get access to that sort of stuff as well as sergeant winter will be moving back around the map if you want to find him he's in his little truck and you'll find him around the map i can't wait to find him and see what happens when our big boy sergeant winter meets some of the other npcs so hopefully we can get access to him soon obviously battle labs and stuff has been removed so not having much luck there so we'll see what happens i guess but yeah, that's really it. I'm looking forward to the Rift Gate and all that sort of stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's a pretty awesome update, and I'll see you guys soon in more content. This is Postbox Pat, signing out.